talking of the telecom and the IT space, looks like Indian IT companies are once again beginning to get hungry for growth and that's one of the reasons why they're looking at the BPO space and the large ones, no, not small acquisitions, but could WNS, the second largest BPO, be on the block and are Indian companies interested in it? Tuhina Pande finds out many Indian companies are hatching plans to have a go at WNS. It's a call that Indian IT companies will have to take sooner than later. Grow in somewhat recession-proof BPO space fast enough as consumers still need to be serviced even if the big corporates hold up their expansion plans. Obviously, Hunt for an attractive asset is on and WNS is on the radar. NDTV has learnt the likes of Infosys, AGs and LNT Infotech are eyeing WNS, an US-listed company in which the private equity player Warburg Pincus holds over 50% stake. So is Warburg willing to sell? In response to NDTV's query, Warburg refused to comment. No comment may be, but Indian IT companies are sending feelers nonetheless. After all, WNS is the second largest India-based BPO after Genpact, with 21,000 employees and about $400 million in revenue, an asset that may prove to be a game-changer for any company which acquires it. BPO services are very rele relevant. In fact, they are more relevant than ever before because uh, globally organizations are uh, looking for, as you know, uh, cost-cutting and uh, uh, greater operational efficiencies. The sticky point in WNS deal could well be its valuations and the fact that the company is sitting on a lot of debt post the Aviva BPO acquisition last year. The ball is clearly in Warburg's court. Will it hit the exit button? Watch the space for more. In Mumbai, Tuhina Pandey for NDTV Profit.